when the spiritual dryness happens the next problem that can that you can face is disappointment and frustration with god we get disappointed and frustrated with god because of the spiritual dryness we get disappointed and frustrated upset with god and if we say i was enjoying your presence god where are you now i was really experiencing your presence i was really experiencing the supernatural experience but suddenly you lost it you got it. you 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 removed it from me you have gone away from me my dear brothers and sisters that is because we don't understand what is the spiritual dryness means spiritual dryness doesn't mean that the lord has left us he is more close to us the only thing the emotional physical consolation is absent but he is more close to us that is why we get frustrated and disappointed because we don't have the emotional satisfaction that is why spiritual fathers call it spiritual gluttony this is called spiritual gluttony spiritual gluttony means you are you are only enjoy in enjoying the emotions and emotions you know you are happy you in the presence of god because you feel it you are not loving god you are not speaking to god you are not enjoying the presence of god you are experience enjoying the presence of the emotions emotional satisfaction sentimentality this is called sentimentality many this is a, one of the uh, accusation against the charismatic movement charismatic movement sometimes goes to other extreme and go for sentimentality when the people feel their their hair, their, their hair is standing straight they feel it is anointing or when this whole body shivering and sweating and praying in tongues they say oh the lord is taken over of my body but if they don't feel anything in their body they say there is no anointing this is got sentimentality this is not correct this is not acceptable even in the extreme intimacy we may feel absence of all these feelings in our body praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus therefore we have to be very careful about the spiritual dryness we need to be very clearly understand the differences between the true spiritual dryness and the absence of love of god and anointing